Go. Sour Banane family, we see you, we honor you, and we value you. Your gifts, along with God's grace, allow us to persevere, to mentor, and prepare new leaders as we co-create for future generations. The Proctor Conference is where future meets legacy. We are committed to the forward crusade of faith, equity, and reparatory justice, nationally and globally. We are the place where Ubuntu becomes reality. Your gifts to the Legacy Campaign enables our success, our sustainability, and secures the future. With vision, by faith, and through action, we are the Proctor Conference. I'm so grateful that there is in this world something called the Samuel DeWitt Proctor Conference. You've been on the wall doing the work. Sister Iva Carruthers and so many others, you represent the best of our faith. You represent the faith of the black church, the conscience of the American churches. Thank you for the work that you do. Family, the time has come to work the roots. The roots of Sam DeWitt Proctor, Gardner C. Taylor, Pauli Murray, Bayard Rustin, and the list continues. As the mission of the Sam DeWitt Proctor Conference continues to shape our ethos and worldview. Join us today by committing an annual, one-time or recurring gift to the SDPC Legacy Campaign. We pray that you and your loved ones have been and will remain the benefactors of God's grace and mercy. Thank you. Good morning, family, and welcome to the Samuel DeWitt Proctor Conference service of weekly prayer and song, the Proctor Pride Prayer Demic. Family, we have enjoyed celebrating Pride Month with you so much, and today is an extension of Pride Month, our last Pride Friday of 2022. We are so glad to have you with us. Again, if you are on Facebook, if you are on YouTube or any other social media outlet, we welcome you this morning for prayer. We would like to invite you to visit our website, sdpconference.info, and we would like you to receive text message updates from the Samuel DeWitt Proctor Conference, and you can sign up by texting SDPC to the number 84576. We promise we will only use your number for sharing information. And if you know anyone who does not have access to the internet, please let them know that they can listen to the service today at noon and 8.30 p.m. Central Standard Time by dialing the number 909-318-7011. Thank you so much, family. And now to our host, Reverend Perry Washington, Jr. Thank you, Reverend Webb. And good morning and welcome to all of our Proctor family. We say Sapo Nami Namaste. We see you, we respect you, we value you. You are important to us. Welcome again to Proctor Pride Pandemic 2022, Black History Month 3.0. We are forever indebted to the founders of this conference, the Reverend Dr. Jeremiah A. Wright Jr., the Reverend Dr. Frederick D. Haynes III, Dr. Iva Carruthers, for their vision and faith through courage in leading this organization. Our call to worship this morning comes from Exodus 15, one two, through two and 11 through 13. I will sing to the Lord for he has triumphed gloriously. The horse and his rider he has thrown into the sea. The Lord is my strength and my song and he has become my salvation. This is my God and I will praise him my father's God, and I will exalt him. Who is like you, O Lord, among the gods? Who is like you, majestic in holiness, awesome in glorious deeds, doing wonders? You stretched out your right hand. The earth swallowed them. You have led in your steadfast love the people whom you have redeemed. You have guided them by your strength to your holy abode. 
our prayer warrior this morning is Dr. Roberto Ochoa. And the Minister of Music this morning is Dr. Tony O'Neill. We would like to thank all of our program participants this morning. And we'll now have a song by Dr. O'Neill. Thank you for that. That was beautiful. Buenos dias. Y que Dios les bendiga mis hermanas, hermanos y hermanas. Good morning and God's blessings to you, my siblings, sisters, and brothers. I'm the Reverend Roberto Ochoa, and I am so blessed to be with you. I bring you saludas, 
Greetings from the national setting of the United Church of Christ and from the Justice and Local Church Ministries team headed by the Reverend Tracy Blackman, who are, is the UCC Associate General Minister. And I serve as the Minister for Ethnic Inclusion and Congregational Support for Rural and Small Churches. I am so grateful for Reverend Dr. Jeremiah Wright Jr., Reverend Dr. Iva Carruthers, and Reverend Dr. Frederick Haynes III, founders of the Samuel David Proctor Conference, and for their vision and mission for the Church of Jesus Christ. I had to echo those sentiments. And gracias to Ms. Emanes, my siblings, Reverend Jerry Wright, and Reverend Dr. Michael Elam, and everyone involved with the Proctor Pride um, pra um, Prayerdemic 2.0 for that gracious invitation to be with you as your prayer warrior for this morning. I am both honored and humbled. So this morning, I'd like to invite you to reflect on Psalm 13 with me. And I'm reading it from the New Revised Standard Version. How long, O Lord, will you forget me forever? How long will you hide your face from me? How long must I bear pain in my soul and have sorrow in my heart all day long? How long shall my enemy be exalted over me? Consider and answer me, O Lord my God. Give me, give light to my eyes or I will sleep the sleep of death. And my enemy will say, I have prevailed and my foes will rejoice because I am shaken. But... I trust in your steadfast love. My heart shall rejoice in your salvation. I will sing to the Lord because the Holy One dealt bountifully with me. As we wrap up Pride Month, which we actually celebrate 365 days, for each day is Pride Day for all of God's children in this world. This weekend, we do enter a different type of commemoration. For many of us will be celebrating, or not, a declaration of independence which was to birth a nation of the free. No, not for all. Not for women, not for the enslaved African descendants, not for communities considered non-Anglo-Saxon, not for the indigenous, not for the non-landowner. Fourth of July, indeed, left many with little freedom or no freedom at all. Yet our ancestors embraced the spirit of freedom. And as we endured oppression, denial of human rights, our ancestors, all those whom we stand on their shoulders right now to gain our God-given rights, our peoples prevailed. Our peoples succeeded against many odds. Last Friday on June 24th, a step was made to overturn a hard-earned victory. As people gather for community picnics and fireworks to celebrate freedom this year, in one swoop decision by the U.S. Supreme Court, half of this nation's population, more than half of this popul nation's population, right of self-determination was taken away. A woman's right to decide for herself the use of her own body now depends on which state she lives in. How long, O oh Lord? For we have seen this before. Well, we have seen our people strive and build vibrant communities only to see it burned down or stolen from us by systemic injustice that for whatever reason just can't stand seeing our peoples thrive as God intends for all her children. Let there be no question about it. If this decision can overturn a 50-year basic human right of self-determination in this country, other rights are vulnerable, especially for our LGBTQA communities. We see it now in places like Texas, Florida, Ohio, and others. How long must I bear pain in my soul and have sorrow in my heart all day long? 
Well, the Samuel DeWitt Proctor Conference model of where future meets legacy is one place we can find inspiration to counter the pain in our souls and sorrow in our hearts. The Sankofa, that majestic symbol, that future is dependent on looking back and retrieving what is left behind. We always can retrieve our God-given rights. So my prayer today on this 4th of July weekend is that God provide us with the Holy Spirit of courage found through the grace of Jesus Christ, who champion the name and who champion, champion in the name of the Holy One for the dignity of the marginalized, the economic vulnerable, the oppressed women and children and the stranger. Let us follow Jesus' lead. My prayer today is for God's Holy Spirit of peace and comfort for those in pain and who are asking, Oh God, oh God. For those parents looking hard to find nourishments for our babies, yet guns are so plentiful. God, we lift up the victims of violence of all type. That makes us think twice before entering the grocery store, our church, and our schools. I pray for the mentally afflicted communities who are often unjustly blamed for gun violence instead of being understood and provided with the resources needed for our full well-being in mind, body, and soul. Dear God, help and guide us to find blessed solutions to the epidemics of all kinds as we pray for the health of our loved ones affected, recovering, and lost due to COVID and other illnesses. We lift those in economic need, the homeless, the hungry, the marginalized, not only in this country, but around the world. And God, we pray for the earth and the impact of climate change has had on our communities. My prayer today is for those of us who, are, who still have the rights of our own bodies, namely cisgender males, to stand along with our sisters and our trans siblings who are denied those same rights. We cannot expect our siblings to fight these attempts to restrict our basic human rights alone. We must not allow a particular theological concept of when life begins or what constitutes gender identity be forced on us who believe differently. My prayer today is for leaders in our federal, state, and local governments and in the church to lead us into a society of bountiful blessings and justice for all. For what does God expect of us? To do justice and to love kindness and to walk humbly with our God. This 4th of July weekend, prayer warriors, let us commit our lives to do just that. Let us embrace, embrace the promise today that when we trust in the steadfast love of the Holy One, our hearts rejoice in God's salvation because we sing to the Lord for the blessings that we are bestowed. Let us not be afraid to look behind and retrieve what is being left behind, for our future depends on it. In nombre de Jesucristo, in the name of Jesus Christ we pray. Amen, amen, y amen. Hold to God's unchanging hand. Time is filled with swift transitions. Oh, 
closely to God, cling. Oh, you got a hold to God's hand. God's unchanging hand. Oh, 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 to God's hand. God's unchanging hand. Build your hopes on things eternal. Oh, to God's unchanging hand. Come and not this world's same riches. God's unchanging hand, oh, 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 to God's hand, God's unchanging hand, build your hopes on things eternal, oh, to God's unchanging hand, when your journey is completed, give to God you God's unchanging hand, oh, to God's hand, God's unchanging hand, build your hopes on things eternal, oh, to God's unchanging hand, oh, oh to God's hand, God's unchanging hand, oh, to God's hand. God's unchanging hand Build your hopes on things eternal Oh, to God's unchanging hand Oh, oh, to His hand God's unchanging hand Oh, to His hand God's unchanging hand Certainly we'll hold on to God's unchanging hand. Despite what the world may say and what the Supreme Court may do, we will resist and hold on to God's unchanging hand. Special thanks to Dr. Tony O'Neill and also to our very own Mary Rustin Social Justice Institute Advisory Council member, Dr. Roboto Ochua, who is also the Minister for Ethnic Inclusion and Congregational Support for the Rural and Small Churches in the United Churches of Christ. Thank both of you for all that you've done and for your participation here today. Now it is time for offering. It's time for you to, to sow into good ground, as we say in church, the Samuel Dewey Proctor Conference is committed to the work of, of this faith, committed to training leaders and developing leaders. And you can give to this work. You can give to Fertile Ground and you can support the work of this conference by donating to our Legacy Fund via our website, which is listed on your screen. You can also give up by us and you can search for the Samuel Dewey Proctor Conference. Your donation supports the work for justice and vision of the Samuel Dewey Proctor Conference. We are so grateful to you and to be in community with you. We have had a great time celebrating Pride all month and also celebrating the regenesis of this resurgence of this Proctor Pride prayer. Uh, conference with our Samuel Dick Proctor Conference, and we've enjoyed all of you taking out your time to be with us today, and we say goodbye for now, but not forever. Now to him who is able to keep us from falling, 
and to present us without faultless, to present us without blemish in the presence of his glory with rejoicing. To the only God, our Savior, through Jesus Christ, our Lord, be glory, majesty, power, and authority before all time and now and forever. Amen.